Good morning, guys, and Happy New Year! Today is the first day of January 2019, which means it's day, the first day to our detox and to start in this fitness journey again. So, here comes the part I've been dreading. Um, I'm going to be very real on this whole journey. I'm going to step on the scale. I know the last time I stepped on it, I was about 260, which whatever that's where we're at and in order to get where you're going you have to first um be real with yourself where you're at and it's okay um and i'm going to show you guys what i look like um and just keep in mind we're not staying here and wherever you're at like that's your starting point but that's not where you're staying either so we can do this um i'm going to take you through the day i'm going to show you the um detoxing that I'm taking as well as like what I eat throughout the day I'm probably gonna even work out today um, yeah I'm also probably gonna show you some pictures of where I was before and where I had gotten to and maintained just in that way like you know like I'm someone worth following um, and that I do know what I'm talking about I don't look like it right now so I think that that's why um, I kind of stopped doing what I was doing with the whole um, you know, sharing my journey because I felt really discouraged about where I was and I felt almost like I was like um, a hypocrite for giving um, health and nutrition and exercise type of, um, that's what I'm looking for, like advice because I do not look like I know what I'm talking about, but I do. Anybody that knows me in real life knows like where I was, where I came from, that I maintained a long time before I got sick. Um, but between, um, my gallbladder and just kind of my body had a lot of toxins in it. And I also was having a depression between being sick, not knowing what it was. I had some financial stuff going on. We had a crappy neighbor situation, some other stuff. Um, I just really get depressed to the point, like, you know, I wasn't taking care of myself. Just the day to day stuff was hard. Like just even, you know, taking care of the house and showering and doing everything that you need to do. Anybody that has had depression knows what I'm talking about. But so we're just going to be real about where we're at and where we're going. Like I said, I'm going to share a little bit of where I was and where I maintained for a long time. I did it all naturally through diet and nutrition. So stay tuned. All right, here we go, guys. Moment of truth. Gonna wait for the zero. Okay. And our starting weight is 265.2, 53.5 body fat and 33.9% water. I'm going to hit select to save it. And that's where we're starting from. 109 to, that was my original goal, 156. But we're probably going to do more like 175. Alright guys, so here is a full body look. In the front, I had a lot of bloating and fat in this area. Um, here's the side. My arms have gotten pretty beefy. <laughs> the side has definitely got kind of like this bumpy belly going on. I've got some back fat in here. Um, my thighs have definitely gotten bigger. It's hard to tell with the two legs. Um, I'm trying to show the full effect. So they're, they're pretty solid. Definitely put, packed a lot of fat on there as well. I've got like the armpit fat over here. Um, obviously, like, the face is heavier, um, the double chin stuff, let's see if we can get you from the back, the back is pretty wide, as we got back rolls again, which is something I used to tell people as I was getting away, I used to be like, I used to be worse, I used to have back rolls, now we're there again, but that's okay, and so this is where we're starting from, just being honest with where we are, so that we can get there. Um, this shirt is a little see-through, but it's not showing anything major. But yeah, I've lost most of my muscle tone. Like, there's some there, but there's a lot of fat. My, I need more tricep muscle to pull this in. 
um, like when I go like this it's like just looks very undefined I'll show you a picture I had um, of my back before when it was starting to get really defined and you can see like my traps and my lats and my arms looked pretty decent so but we will get back there so this is where we're beginning um, I'm gonna throw the camera on the tripod real quick and we're going to take actual measurements so see you in a minute all right guys here we go with the measurements we're gonna start with my arm my arm is coming in at 15 inches. My chest is 45 inches. My waist is, one well, I can't see. 39 inches. My hips are 48 inches. The widest part of my thigh is 30 inches. Widest part of my calf is just a little over 18.5 inches. I'm trying to think what else. We, uh, we'll do the belly area too because I'm probably going to lose a lot in this area. So, this upper belly part is like 47 inches. We'll do like the glute peak. That's like the bigger part of your booty is going to be 52 inches. And I'm also going to do like my lower belly area, which is, I think actually that's where the booty is too. It's about the same as 51. So I think that takes into consideration the glute. So we won't count that one. Um, but yeah, so those are my current measurements. Again, today is January 1st of 2019, beginning of this journey. Um, I'm going to weigh in probably every once a week. So today's Tuesday, but I'll probably do Mondays, so we'll see. All right, let's go start the day. out today. I'm going to start with that AM packet. So, these lovely bad boys look pretty big. Um, and I'm going to drink a whole 16.9 ounce water bottle just to kind of get that water intake in. Alright, so we have four bells over here. I'm going to try to take them two by two. We'll see. Not too bad. 
It has a taste. I don't know if it's ginger. What's in that top one? Yeah, maybe the ginger. It's not like overpowering though, but you can taste it a little bit. It actually tastes kind of nice. So that is packet number one. I'm going to get this water down. And for breakfast, I'm just going to have a light breakfast. I'm going to start with some of this chopped up pineapple. Um, you don't really have to count macros on this, so I'm not like counting macros or calories. I'm just going to eat until my stomach feels content. Um, and yeah, so that is round one. I'll be back in a little while with a snack, and we'll be taking the fiber and prebiotic blend. All right, guys, it is time for lunch, and I'm going to do the fiber and prebiotic blend. Um, I know a lot of people had said it didn't taste too good. Um, I was going to mix it with some tea, but then I read it, and it says it has to be, like, with um, cold stuff, so water or fresh juice or something. And all I really have is water. I don't really have juice in the house. I don't drink it a lot. Um, so I'm going to mix the powder in with some, I still have some of the coconut water left. So and hopefully that'll make it not so bad. We'll see. Right, hopefully it's not gross. We will see. So it's taking a little bit to mix. It's still pretty clumpy, so um, I hope it's not gross. All right. Uh, it's taking a while. If I had known how long it was going to take, I would have mixed it off camera. I don't even think it's going to mix all the way, guys. Next time I'll probably throw it in the blender. But because I am on here already, I'm just going to try and get clumpy. Well, actually, it's not bad. Um, they must have changed it since those people gave the review because it actually just tastes like um, like a light orangey taste. It actually tastes pretty good. So my lunch is going to be, this is a small size plate, by the way, uh, chicken, crock pot potatoes, and some cucumbers. I'm also going to drink another bottle of water, and then I'm going to work out. Um, I'm going to do a lifting workout, and then I'm thinking about going for a walk with the dog today because it's really nice out. Um, I probably won't record it only because I, this video is already going to kind of be long because it's the first day, and I'm showing all the stuff, and then also adding in some of my before and after pictures from before, so I'll probably do like some workout videos in a couple days. All right, so that's it for lunch. I'm going to go eat. See ya. All right, guys, we've made it to the end of day one. Um, things have gone well. Off camera, I took one of these probiotics earlier as well as a handful of shelled walnuts. Um, I haven't really eaten or snacked on anything else. I haven't really been too hungry today, which is good, um, probably because of the water and the fiber. Um, I'm about to take the PM formula and I'm going to have some dinner, which is just, um, chicken and 
um, some cherry tomatoes cut up and warmed up together and then I put a half of an avocado on it which I'm gonna have um, overall I've had a really good day um, like I said there I haven't really had any cravings for the most part um, my energy level has been good um, I have gone number one a few times and like you know I feel like my body is letting go of some of the water retention, which is good. Um, I also went number two once. I know it's a little bit of information, but, you know, it kind of goes along with the detox. So, and that was pretty regular. Um, nothing crazy, though. Nothing, I don't feel like super cleaned out. Or I just feel like, you know, my body is releasing water retention, basically. So, I'm going to go eat this. Take that PM packet. It's only... It's only like 7.32 here, but I am feeling tired, like not, like some energy is fine, but I just feel like a natural tiredness, which is good because I don't usually get tired early. I usually have a hard time sleeping, so I think I'm going to have a good restful night. I did work out earlier just for 10 minutes. I did, um, I used the Olympic barbell, which is 45 pounds. I didn't put any plates on it, um, so I used that. I did... 25 squats, 25 deadlifts, 25 chest press, 25 overhead press, and then 25 bent over rows, which is basically, um, I talked on my Snapchat the other day about this. I'm going to do that probably three to four times a week just to kind of build back up my muscle routine. Um, and then I'll get more like detailed with the different movements I do. I'm also going to do some cardio. I was going to take the dog for a walk earlier because it was gorgeous out here for this time of year in New England, but it was, I think it was like 60, someone said, but I didn't get a chance to. I had a lot of stuff to do indoors. So tomorrow I'll probably do something either outside or at the gym, depending on the weather. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to end this here and go put the video together and then I think I'm going to go to bed. I don't think I'm going to snack really beyond this because I'm not super hungry now and I'm about to eat this chicken bowl so I think that I'll probably do it for tonight. So that's it for tonight. Good night and I'll see y'all tomorrow.